This week, let's talk about an indie music nerd who gets forced to be friends with everyone he knows. This week, I want to talk about Questionable Content, a webcomic made by Jeff Chekez. Questionable Content is about a boy named Martin, who's an indie music nerd who moved across the country to be with his girlfriend and is dumped by her and has to make his life again in this new unfamiliar place. One of the first places he goes to, a local coffee shop named Coffee of Doom, he befriends a lot of the baristas, and he begins to get his life on track. The webcomic was started in 2003, and what became his full-time job in 2004, and he has continued to make a strip every day for years. I recommend this webcomic for his progression as an artist. From his very first strip to his most current strip, you do see his experience as he has changed his style over the years, and has become a pretty good artist. And over the course of years, the comic has become very well written and is very emotional. All these characters have their own emotional problems they are working through, and thankfully they have their friends to get them through the day, and it's very overwhelming at times. Be careful when you're reading it. This is a slice of life comic. It is following just this one guy's day through his regular everyday world, which happens to have artificial intelligence and androids. Also has a great archive with over 3,200 pages starting from 2003 till now, and the webcomic updates every weekday. Questionable content I consider to be a A-list webcomic, because he started from the very ground up. He just wanted to make a webcomic and it's grown from there. He's done a lot with the webcomic. He's collaborated with other artists and has links to his friends on the page. He has a lot of side projects too, such as Alice Grove, a sci-fi webcomic he writes and draws, and a heavy metal music album that he's created on his own with support of his fans. This webcomic would not be here without the support of his fans who purchase his merchandise and support him to create a webcomic every single day in full color. In fact, there have been often times where just because a character was wearing a certain shirt, practically the next week it was put in stores just because of popular demand. Another thing I love about questionable content is how much the characters have grown and how they are all very human in one way or another. While not every one of them is human for an obvious fact, because one of the main characters, Pint Size, is Pint Size, a lewd robot that is somehow his, also Martin's computer. Just over the years, they've been written better and better and better, and there's still a couple topics he's covered that are quite, are very emotionally sensitive, and I, for one, feel like he's tainted them very well. These situations have helped make his characters who they've become, that they finally triumph over these problems, but they're still held back by them, and they have their friends to get them through it. For one, he's tried to address of how humans can be still humans when they're just computers with artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence rights in the comic. Even though to us it's fictional, very soon it might be possible and it's still a good thought experiment to wonder what makes someone human. And let's be good to each other. It has earned its place as a top webcomic. So, and I wish you best of reading until next time.